Lady Glenconnor. And Princess Margaret is in a sort of golden dress. And look at David, her son, David Lindley, who is your boyfriend, I think, at that moment. And I remember when Princess Margaret first saw her dress, she said, I've been waiting all my life, she said, for a dress like this. This really makes me feel like a proper princess. So, uh, she and the Queen used to come um, a lot to Holcombe when I was a child. And Princess Margaret was such fun. I mean, we got up to quite a lot of mischief, actually. The Queen was sort of six years old and uh, you know was always saying oh Margaret you mustn't do that I didn't know anything about writing books <laughs> I said to my publisher I've got two girls one is to sell over half a million which I've done and the other is to be on Graham Norton's red sofa <laughs> yeah. and for both of which <laughs> she said it's quite impossible you won't achieve that uh, and I said mark my words well, I did have 12 years of loan with Colin on Musty. And it did cross my mind once or twice I might murder him. Oh, when the boys were so ill, and then I had the twins, Christopher, and I couldn't be a weepy old uh, sort of hopeless mother. I had to pull myself together. And the other thing, which isn't perhaps very fashionable to talk about, is I've got a great faith, a religious mm. faith. And um, that has helped me more than anything. That's what I wore um, uh, <laughs> at such an incredible moment. I mean, I'm so lucky to be chosen. We had to be daughters of earls, marquesses, or dukes. We had to be unmarried. We had to have sort of nice figures and all that sort of thing. But when I arrived, there were quite a few members actually of the royal family there. To my absolute horror, they were all in navy blue or grey. And I stood out like an awful, a huge sort of key, right? 